Hello boys and girls. Welcome to this week's WAC. It's about PIMDAS or PEDMOS depending on how you pronounce it. PIMDAS is going to help you on page 144 of your packet and it's also going to help you a little bit later in our next unit on page 281. So you can go back and review this when we do that next unit. Here we go. This is an order of operations. If you're writing your WAC right now, your title will be PIMDAS or order of operations. Operations. What do you think that means? You've got add, that's an operation. Subtract, multiply, divide. Those are your operations. So when it says order of operations, it's telling you the order in which to do your math operations. Squaring or to the power of is also an operation. You've got to do what's in the parentheses first. So right here you've got 5 plus 3 and it's in the parentheses so it comes first. So the P for our PIMDAS starts with parentheses. So here if you tried to multiply the 6 times 5, you would have gotten the wrong answer. You have to do the 5 plus 3 first because that's in the parentheses. E is for exponents. That's the next step in PIMDAS. Exponents are like 2 to the power of 2 means 2 twos or 4. As a matter of fact, I don't like that example. I'd like to see something like... 3 to the power of 2. 3 to the power of 2 is 3 times 3, and that is 9. Yeah, and then 9 times 5 is 45. There we go. I like that example better. Let me save that. Save and display. Okay. If you were doing this and you accidentally did something like, oh, 2 times 2 would be 4, and then 4 times 5 would have gotten you, not 10, that's wrong, like 10 to the power, of, yeah, that's not, that's not going to work. So like here is if I did it wrong, let me say 3 again. So if you accidentally did 3 times 2, you would have gotten 6, and then 6 times you would have had 5 times 6, which would have been wrong, and that would have equaled 30, and that's totally a different answer than 45. So let's see. 3 times 3 is the right way to do this, and that gets you 9. That's to the power of 2. That's what squaring is. All right, let's go back to our display here. Beautiful. Thanks. All right, multiplying and dividing is next. You will multiply and divide before you do any adding or subtracting. Now, it's not necessarily in that order. Sometimes you have to divide first if it's on the left side, because multiplying and dividing are on the same stair. So, multiplying is the one in this particular example, so you would have had to do 5 times 3 before you would do the plus 2. So, if you tried to add first, you would have gotten 7, times 3, and that would be wrong. You would have gotten a completely different answer. You have to multiply and divide before you do any adding or subtracting. Otherwise, if you have just multiplying and dividing, you just go in order from left to right. That's what I was saying. Multiplying and dividing is on the same stair. Sometimes dividing comes first. Sometimes multiplying comes first. So you do whatever's on the left first. So this would have been wrong if you had done the multiplying first because it's on the right side. you got to make sure you do what's on the left then the right, because multiplying and dividing, same stair. Pretty sure I just said that three times, which is probably too much. So here are the steps. P is for parentheses. It comes first. Then you've got your exponents, meaning to the power of, like, 3 to the power of 2 went 3 times 3, which equaled 9. That's your E for exponents. And then you have your multiplying and dividing. Remember, you could have divided first if it's on the left. Then you have your adding and subtracting, which, remember, you could subtract before you add because they're on the same stair. You just have to see what's on the left when you're on that stair. But multiplying and dividing is always going to come before adding and subtracting. So in this example, what should you do first? Well, 
According to PEMDAS, or order of operations, here's what you should do. The parentheses come first. So you do everything that's in the parentheses first. Now that I'm inside the parentheses, I see three different operations. There's multiplying, there's exponents, and there's adding. According to PEMDAS order, I'm going to do exponents before I'm going to multiply and before I'm going to add or subtract. What should you do first? I just said that. Oh, now the exponent. I kind of gave that answer away. All right, so the exponent there is 5 to the power of 2. Remember, that is not 10. 5 to the power of 2 means two fives. 5 times 5 is 25. Okay, so we did that as 25. I shouldn't say first anymore. It should say next. But anyway, moving on. What should I do first now that I'm looking at these? Well, you've got to multiply before you add or subtract. So 6 times 25, that is 6 quarters. 4 quarters is a dollar, so that's 100. 5, 6 more quarters is dollar fifty, so that's 125. Then you would multiply or divide or add or subtract. I guess I should do the slides before I tell you. So now, that became 150. We've got 150 plus 3, obviously plus first. I have to do what's to finish what's in the parentheses before I move on to what's outside of the parentheses. Add and subtract, or subtracting and add, depending on what's on the left. Oh, well, what's on the left after you've done what's in the parentheses. Do what's in the parentheses first, then we'll worry about what's outside of the parentheses. Oh, wait, so 150 plus 3 is 153. <laughs> According to PEMDAS, you should get 153. Finally, what's inside the parentheses is solved, and we can go outside the parentheses. 7 added into 153 is 160. That's all that was left. Left to right. We just said this. 200 is the, not the final answer. It should be 160. How did I get 200? Let's fix that. 160. Oh, all better. I totally did that the whole time. That was what you saw. Yay. All right. That's what we got. We got an answer of 160. Yay. Let's do maybe one last example. Hopefully it doesn't take that long. Multiplying and dividing. Is there an order in which you solve problems? Yes. You can remember it by saying, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Remembering, you could also say, Please excuse dear my Sally aunt, because multiplying and dividing can be switched, and so can aunt and Sally. There we go. After you have done P and E, you just go from left to right for doing your multiplying and dividing. You go from left to right for your adding and subtracting. But again, you will multiply and divide before you add or subtract. In UK, they call it BODMAS. Bracket, order, divide, add, multiply, add, and subtract. In Canada, they call it bed moss for brackets, exponents, divide, multiply, add, subtract. Interesting. So, how do you work out this example? You multiply before addition. So, first, you would do the 6 times 2, which would get you 12. Then, you would say 3 plus 12. Excellent. We'll do one more example, and then I'm going to consider us done. How would you work this? Well, oh, tricky. You definitely want to multiply before you add, but that adding is in the parentheses, so you're going to have to do that first. Parentheses first, so you're going to get that that equals 9. Then your 9 times 2 equals 18. Excellent. I think that's enough examples for now. I think we've done plenty of examples, and that's going to conclude our...